Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is package day and it's, I'm sorry, but it's been a little while since I've actually put a video out. It's been at least a week. I apologize for that. I've just been pretty busy uh, getting everything ready for the holidays and stuff. So uh, <laughs> that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, Albert LaBelle uh, wanted to send me a package for a trade. Um, so he... Uh, Made up some locks, uh, packaged up some locks, and uh, sent me a package. Uh, Albert, I just sent yours out today. Um, I was going to send it out last Monday, but uh, <laughs> like I said, everything got in the way of that. So uh, there we go. But it is out in the mail today, and I sent you a uh, pretty heavy box. So uh, let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we have inside. Okay, should be able to pop it now. Maybe, there we go. All right, so we got some packing material here first. Let's toss that aside. And we got a bag of goodies. All right, so let's see uh, what's in the bag. We did send a little note, so I'll take a look at that off camera. Yeah, you did the same thing I did, dude. Um, I always try to send a bunch, can't keep track of who's uh, picked what. Yeah, I'm the same way. Uh, There's so many lock picking channels out there, it's hard to keep track of who's got what anymore. So, uh, <laughs> that is the truth. So I try to send out a boatload. All right, so I've got a little Abus here. That'll be a good little uh, contender for a stock lock Sunday. So and that's a pretty cool little laminated lock. I wonder if it's got spools in it or anything. I don't know. I've never had one like this. So cool little lock. Uh, let's look at these little baggies because these are Albert LaBelle challenge locks. Okay, and we are mummied here with the key, and it's a Schlage Keyway, uh, pretty much a brand new lock it looks like, nice and tight too, there's no flop in that core, so awesome, I'll stick that in there, and he included two challenge locks, oh this one had a name, I didn't include that, but there we go, Odium, And Ruby's trying to get into stuff she shouldn't be getting into, so stop it, Ruby. And we've got Malice. And this one is also a, look like a brand new Schlage. This one has a slight bit more slop in it than the other one, but still not very much. So awesome. A couple of brand new challenge locks to pick on. So I'll set that over there. Oh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> pinned by Trekmaster30. Um, so, uh, yeah, I got one of my own back, but <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> like he said in the note, it's hard to tell who's had what. Uh, Bill McCarty, number 68. I have not seen this one. Trap Zone. Uh... I don't think I've picked this one. I've, I think I've seen it picked. I don't think I've done that one. Uh, another Texas Gym Lock. Um, I've picked so many Texas Gym Locks and none of them have names. You never know which one you've picked. <laughs> uh, the Big Easy, pinned by West Coast Picks. I think I've seen this one quite a while ago, um, but uh, I'll definitely get it picked again. And let's see here, pinned by From Fun. Okay, I've definitely not had that, but it's an Iseo. It's a uh, five pin euro. And we've got a lock from Thumper, which I have not picked this one for sure. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, let's take that out of there so I can read that uh, tag. If I can open the bag. Laid back. Laid back. Yeah. All right. So awesome, awesome bunch of locks here. Um, I don't know. You guys think I should cheat and pick my own lock first? <laughs> No telling because uh, based off of that tag, I pinned this one up probably about two years ago. So I don't, I don't, heck, let's do it. Even my own challenge locks are a challenge. Especially with the small amount that I've actually been picking lately. I've just not had a lot of time for videos. So let's go ahead and... Get this bad boy clamped up. I think I remember this one. This was a one of the first six pin schlags I think I ever turned into a challenge lock, if I remember right. And that being that, um, let's go ahead and stick a shotgun in here. Now it's got a fairly tough bidding, but I think we'll be fine. And if I can keep my nose long enough for long, or, run, or if I can keep my nose from running for long enough to get this lock picked, then we'll be good. Oh. And let's go with that pry bar. A good amount of flop in that core. Nothing on one, nothing on two, a little click from three, a little click from four. A little click from six, another little click from six. A little click from five. Pardon for all the sniffles, guys. Okay, that's an overset trap. I've got no idea what I've done to this lock. There's some counter rotation. Yeah, I wound up losing that. This would be funny if we wound up with a... Uh, failed out of the package and picking from a lock that I made but uh, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere Overset on one. Okay, there's a big fat fall set on chamber two. A 
Okay, I might have some countermilling done here, so I'm actually going to grab a little bit steeper hook. Okay, got a click, but I lost my false set. See if I can get back into that deep fall set again. There we go. Okay, I'm back in the deep fall set. I'm gonna go back to the steeper hook. And this looks really not that much deeper than the one I've been using. I mean, that's strong counter right there. All right, no, you can stop running anytime. Okay, I think I got it because I'm not getting any counter anymore. Okay, there's counter. Got that pin set, but instantly lost my false set again. Okay, back in a deep false set. There we go. Woo! Man, definitely going to have to open this one up because I have no idea what I've got inside of this lock. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use my oldest spinning tray I've got right now. Get credit for picking my own lock, right? Keep it in frame. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take the shotgun out. All right. Uh, those deep false sets make me think I need to shim this, so let me shim this. All right, that went in with no trouble.
Okay, that was an easy one. Okay, so I got a couple of good pins starting out. Alrighty, um, so as far as the uh, plug goes, I've just got, uh, well, I've just got serrations and everything. And I'm just going to keep on sniffling because I just can't stop it. Okay, chamber three. Okay, here we go. There's my drunken spool. Kind of a serrated drunken spool. Get these last two out from the back. And I've got all the same type of springs in there. Uh, as far as the top goes, it doesn't look like I've done anything to it. Okay, so I'll uh, zoom in and I'll show you what pins I put in here. <laughs> All right, so I've got a uh, very slightly reduced diameter uh, serrated, then a standard copper spring. I've got a standard, then a uh, double serrated, then a multiple serrated, then a double serrated a spool, a, a serrated drunken spool, a T-pin, a serrated a double serrated and a serrated so that's what we have in this lock that I made that was put together by out or well this is a lock that I made that was sent to me back by Mr. Albert LaBelle so Albert thanks for all the awesome locks uh, thanks for a chance to let me pick this old sucker again because heck it put up a little bit of a fight and uh, <laughs> I for the life of me I couldn't remember what was in it so everybody please stay safe don't do anything illegal please like comment and subscribe and as always, if you see a lock out there in the wild and you don't have the keys for it, don't stick a pick in it.